We're out and about in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm thrilled to be here in the circle room with the vice president and executive producer of the Grand Ole Opry, Dan Rogers. Hey, how are you? Great to see you, Dan. I feel like I just saw you recently with, uh, with the big Dolly Parton, 50 years of being an Opry member, and now to actually be sitting here in the circle room, you know, the, the pictures don't do it justice. You are right. I would say tell you that and say that the circle room is just a new addition to the Opry House that opened in June of this year. So we're excited about it at the Opry. We're always trying to, of course, honor the past, but also always be thinking about the future as well. And this is this is a big part of our future as we march toward our 100th birthday. Well, you know, it's so amazing too because what are we? Uh, this is the 94th year of the Opry, correct? Right. And so. The, the video and everything opens up with Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood in the circle introducing fans to the Opry when they come in. Yeah, so it assumes, so we'll do, we'll have more than a quarter of a million people come through the Opry House on a tour in, in a single year. Wow. And this film was created to really set up that experience. So if you came in and you felt like you knew everything there was to know about the Opry, you still feel a little more and maybe learn, you know, what folks like Garth and Trisha and Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood and um, Ricky Skaggs feel about the Opry. But then if you came in and you were just a casual fan and, you know, had heard of the Opry, but not much more, right? Um, you really leave in that. Our goal was that in that 12 minute period, you learn as much about the Opry and feel as much about the Opry as you possibly can. Well, you know, and, and as you and I know, and particularly for our viewers, you know, in the UK and Europe, it's like the Opry is such a huge part of country music. You walk up, you know, when, when I was coming in to interview you here at the Opry, it's, it's inspirational. You know, you feel the energy and everything. And with the film here in the circle room, it goes through a lot of the artists as they're being inducted or their first time on the Opry. And, and it's such an experience here, you know, when, when I come to the Opry and, and seeing, you know, like you said, the legends, but also seeing the new up and comers. And with this room, you guys did so much work. It's almost like a concert experience and kind of kicks off before you do the whole backstage tour, right? Yeah, as, as I said, it really is. Um, the goal was to put as many of the sights and sounds of an Opry experience and of 94 years of Opry history into one single film. So yes, you'll see um, superstars today like Carrie Underwood, but you'll also um, be reminded of the Opry stars that have come before, like right. Patsy Cline and Johnny Cash, Minnie Pearl, Roy Acuff, Bill yeah. Monroe, and of course that, that list is endless. And that's what's always, at the end of the day, to me, made the Opry so special, is it's this one-of-a-kind place and one-of-a-kind show where new stars, superstars, and legends of country music come to play and where you can see the past, present, and future of country music every time that curtain goes up. I well, mean, it really does happen every single time the show happens. I totally agree with you, and I, and I feel like the circle room is kind of a warm-up for that with the film, with the introduction from Garth and Trisha, and, and sort of showing that history. But also, you've got incredible sound in here. I read it was custom 23.1 surround sound. There's no speakers visible. It's, um, it's an amazing room in that um, you really don't know, and we made it this way, that you don't know what you're in for until the lights go down and the production begins. Which is like, one of the best movies you see is totally. when something surprises you or <laughs> you, know, you didn't see something coming or what have you. So um, that works well. And then I'll tell you that additionally, something else that you might not um, realize when you come in on a tour is that if you come back to this room in the evening before an Opry performance and um, purchase a ticket before an Opry show, this room flips to a VIP suite. Wow. You can come in, get food and beverage and that sort of thing before your Opry experience. And people don't realize that as well. You know, they'll come in and think, oh, we were in that room for a tour. We must be in the wrong place. Right. And they come in and it's a, it's a different 
a different vibe, like um, these chandeliers above yeah, us come I down it. and it becomes a, a nice setting before an opera show. Well, you know, and it feels very intimate also, Dan, you know, walking around the room, looking at the pictures, looking at the instruments hanging up in here, it just, it feels like an intimate thing. And that up in front of the stage, you set it up to where it's like the circle, yep. which is the circle on the Grand Ole Opry stage taken from the Ryman. And that's where virtual Garth and Trisha do the introductions. I love that um, backstage at the Opry is, in my mind, it's country music's greatest show place. It's a beautiful backstage area, but it also feels really, really comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of place you would just go, you know, sit down in, on a sofa in the family room and have a conversation with somebody. And that's the case here, too, um, right. in my mind. It's high tech, but it feels really comfortable when you come in and you just sit down and enjoy this presentation and enjoy folks like Brad Paisley and as I said Emmy Lou Harris and Vince Gill and those folks really talking to you about why they love the Grand Ole Opry so much. It's just amazing. I want to make sure too that our viewers know Dan to where you know do they need to get a separate ticket for this? How do they you know if they're coming in to Nashville, Tennessee and obviously coming to the Opry and I highly recommend the backstage tour. How do they get a ticket for the Circle Room? So it's really easy. You can um, really everything's available on Opry.com. You can buy a separate ticket to an Opry show. You can buy a ticket to a tour and lots of packages there. There's a great little area. Um, called the book a, trip, book a Package or Trip Planner page. And it not only has, you know, different packages available, but it has trip tips from folks like Vince Gill and Kelsey Ballerini, Opry stars who are just saying, you know, some of their favorite things to do are the Opry, but um, some of their other favorite restaurants and that sort of thing. So right. people have said that um, they've had fun just reading through uh, what artists and what opera members have to say about what they love about Nashville and, you know, going seeing if they agree, basically. <laughs> well, you know, it's just like coming in and getting your hot chicken and everything else when you're in Nashville, certain things you have to do or going down on Broadway. Now, you know, with this expansion with the Circle Room and you've done so many great things here, Dan, is there anything more coming up as we get nearer to the 100th anniversary? Can you can you give us a taste? Well, there will always be more because it's the, it's the opera. I mean, we really do. Everybody here think um, is motivated to celebrate our past, but also look toward the future. So yeah, we've talked about a lot of um, new possibilities, and um, I can't imagine that we'll be doing any less shows as we march toward 100 years. And this year, or many nights a week that we did um, five opera-related shows a night. So. If you um, come see us uh, and you spend two nights in Nashville, you're almost guaranteed to be able to see an Opry performance at one of them. Well, and I'll tell you, Dan, what you and your team here at the Opry do so incredible, too, is that you keep the legends coming on stage, but also you've done a great job of curating the young artists and bringing those on stage as well, just like Maggie Rose and, and so many others, you know, striking matches. And it's such a great balance. And so whenever I come to the show, which if I had the time, I would come every week and I live here, it's, it's just always refreshing to see the legends and the up-and-comers. Well, that's exactly what we try to do. You know, a perfect Opry show in my mind has the different styles of music that um, fit under a country music umbrella. So perfect show would have bluegrass, would have um, somebody who's on the charts with a, you know, a number one today, like um, happened just last night. Maybe a brand new artist that um, somebody has discovered or um, just has their first single out or what have you. Um, you know, some great comedy, a uh, contemporary Christian artist. That Maybe some dancers. Thing. Some dancers never heard. <laughs> it's just it's just a great show. I think it's, it's the best show in town. And I think it's so incredible, Dan, that you and your team have launched the Circle Room here to heighten the experience. And it really is an immersive experience with the film and the room. And, and you just feel the power of it. And people are lined up outside to come in and do the tours. Well, the best, I think the best part of, of this film experience is that it's just the beginning of your backstage tour. It sets it up really well such that you really appreciate the backstage area that you um, walk through immediately. And it gives all those dressing rooms more meaning. It gives the um, your opportunity to stand in the real circle on the stage 
um, even more meaning as well. It's incredible. Dan Rogers, Vice President and Executive Producer of the Grand Ole Opry. Be sure on your next trip coming here to Nashville, Tennessee, schedule in so that you can come see this film and see this room, and of course see the Opry at, right here, the Circle Room. For the UK Americana Bar TV Show, I'm Eric Dahl.